TV TV on the wall. Who's the most popular streaming platform of them all? I'm John P, and we'll take a look at the numbers now. This episode of Geek TV is brought to you by the Ford Focus Electric. Okay, today we're going to compare the most popular streaming media box variants because if you don't yet have one hooked up to your TV, you really need to rectify that problem. So first, let's take a look at the numbers. To start with, we've got Google TV. Although they're Google, the most popular apps on the Google TV platform have yet to top a million downloads. Heck, those wouldn't even rate if they were Android apps. Yahoo's seen its connected TV platform baked into more than 8 million TVs. The bad news? Only a million of those owners are using the service each month. Boxy's doing a bit better with more than 2 million users, although to be honest, most are using the old Boxy app that's no longer available instead of the hardware variant of the Boxy box. Roku sold more than 3 million of its devices worldwide, and that's enough to attract Fox as an investor, as well as content from Disney, HBO, Major League Baseball, and the NBA. Of course, clocking in at double that number, Apple sold more than 6 million Apple TVs worldwide. But there's still a lot of pressure on Apple to take this product to a higher level, if for no other reason than being a victim of their own success. First, there's a comparison to the rest of its product line. Apple will ship its 100 millionth iPad this year and has already sold more than 250 million iPhones. So next to that, 6 million Apple TVs is small potatoes. But what keeps Apple TV execs awake at night is likely Microsoft Xbox platform. Although it doesn't have as much TV content as Apple TV, it does have more than six times as many subscribers. 40 million to Apple TV 6. And then there's a Sony PlayStation network with 15 times more subscribers than Apple TV at around 90 million subscribers. Now admittedly, these are gaming networks that are adding video content versus Apple TV or Roku, which are video networks that would like to add games. But those numbers show the threat to Apple and Roku's video business models. So there you have it, Apple and Roku are selling more pure media streaming boxes than everyone else, but the Sony and Microsoft gaming platforms have more subscribers and pose a big threat. How awesome is Ford for sponsoring this episode? All right, today we are taking a look at this beautiful baby. It is the Ford Focus Electric. Now, if you're not that familiar with electric vehicles, Keep in mind that the My Ford mobile app will let you plan a trip. Let's say you want to go somewhere. You can see exactly how much charge you have left to see how far you can go. And in addition, you'll always know where your local charging stations are so that you're never caught off guard. We'll take a look at the Ford Focus Electric more in upcoming episodes. Thanks so much to Ford for sponsoring this episode. Now let's get back to the Apple TV versus Roku debate. Both offer boxes priced about $99 at about the same size and form factor. Some notable differences, only the Roku 2 offers connection options for older TVs without HDMI ports, plus 480i composite video and analog stereo audio via a mini jack. The Roku 2 also offers a micro SD slot and a USB port for additional storage options. Roku offers more programming partners than Apple TV, but if you're an iOS user with an iPhone, iPad, or MacBook, then Apple TV's AirPlay integration is a huge plus. Personally, I love to be able to sh instantly share my screen from my MacBook Air on any of the Apple TVs around my house. So which one do you own, and why did you choose it? Tweet me at John Pose or message me on Google Plus at google.com forward slash plus John P. For now, I have to go check my Geek Beat subscription on iTunes and see if there are any more episodes featuring Callie Lewis. Hey guys, so obviously this episode was recorded earlier because as you watch it, we're sitting here on Mount Magazine in beautiful Arkansas. And you know what? Out of all of this, all I can think about is I want to know more about you, the viewer. So I was thinking maybe you could help us out by filling out a quick survey at revision3.com slash geekbeats survey. And uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself. We want to know all about you. We would appreciate it so much. Again, that's revision3.com slash geekbeats survey. Time to whittle. Oh, I'm jumping in the hot tub. Most popular teleprompter operator in the universe. 
He's not even recording. What do you want me to say? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, good <laughs> are God. Recording for a while. That's right.